It's time now for the latest in local sports and sports state playoffs underway in several sports. And at Wayne County High School, the varsity esports team won their second round matchup Friday, defeating Sandy Creek High School by a final of 3 2. They've now advanced to the Elite Eight matchup, which will be held on December 3rd. They'll face either Heritage High School or Westminster, depending on the outcome of that matchup, which is set for December the 2nd. One of the other matchups in the Elite Eight is Perry High School against Long County. They meet each other also on December the 3rd. Once again, our congratulations to the high school esports team. Again, into the third round of the state playoffs next week, December 3rd. Team members include Asher Monopit, Colton Westbury, Adam Finch, Jamon Height, and team captain Miles Martin. They're coached by Rob Patton. Once again, they'll compete in the third round of the state playoffs on December the 3rd. In the Recreation District football over the weekend, our 12 U All Stars in Waycross taking on Bryan County. Final score was Bryan County 48, Wayne County 6. District football has been completed until next year. Minor, we've got four district champion soccer teams. They'll compete in state playoff action the dates December 5th and 6th. High school state playoff football down to the Elite Eight. And in Dubway, both Appling and Pierce County remain in the state bracket. Pirates beat Carver of Atlanta Friday in Baxley by a score of 35-14. Pierce on the road defeated Columbia 31-24. Dubway bracket looks like this for the weekend. Appling will host Stevens County. Pierce County will be at Carver of Columbus. Rockmark plays Morgan County, and Thompson plays Burke County. Those are the eight teams left in AA football. In Quad A football, our region, Benedictine, the only team left in our region, they survived in advance as they defeated Ola 34-14 on the road. They'll meet Blessed Trinity this weekend. Eastside defeated Perry at Perry 21-10, and they'll meet Creekside. North Oconee whipped up on Ware County 35-6. They'll meet Cartersville, and Maris will play Cambridge. In 5A, Coffee defeated Brunswick 45-15. They'll meet Sequoia. In 6A, Valdosta, Lyons, and Colquitt all defeated. Buford beat Lyons 42-7. They'll meet North Gwinnett. Collins Hill will meet Grayson. They beat Colquitt 28-14. And Carrollton knocked out Valdosta 49-13. They'll now play Hillgrove. Once again, the state championships are back this year at the Mercedes-Benz Stadium. The days of the state title games are December 17th and 18th. College football over the weekend. Georgia Southern Big Road win at Coastal Carolina. The Eagles win 26-6. Georgia win in Athens over UMass 59-21. And the dogs, after the chaotic weekend of all the upsets, find themselves in invitation to the SEC championship game. They're locked in. They'll meet the winner of this weekend's matchup between Texas and Texas A&M. So Georgia-Texas rematch, a good possibility. Again, that SEC championship game set for Saturday, December 7th at the Mercedes-Benz Stadium in Atlanta. Other scores, again, it was full of upsets and playoff hopes destroyed. Oklahoma beat up on Alabama 24-3. Auburn beat Texas A&M in triple overtime 43-41. Florida upsets Ole Miss 24-17. Ole Miss most likely out of the playoff contention as well. Ohio State hands Indiana its first loss 38-15. That was the final in Columbus. Notre Dame hands Army its first loss that game at Yankee Stadium. Dominated by the Irish, 49-14. Tennessee hoping to jump back in playoff contention. They beat UTEP 56-0. Penn State squeaks by Minnesota 26-25. Colorado loses at Kansas 37-21. In the Big 12, now a 14 tie. BYU loses to Arizona State 28-23. Boise State still in playoff contention. They beat Wyoming 17-13. So after the chaos, here's a look at the AP's top 25. It's Oregon 1, Ohio State 2, Texas is 3, Penn State 4, Notre Dame moves up to number 5, Georgia up to 6th, Tennessee 7th, Miami 8th, SMU 9th, and in at number 10 is Indiana who lost to Ohio State. 11th is Boise State, 12 Clemson, 13 Alabama, 14 Arizona State, 15 Ole Miss, 16 South Carolina, 17 Iowa State, 18 Tulane, 19 BYU, and in 20 is Texas A&M, 21 UNLV, 22 Illinois, 23 Colorado, 24 Missouri, and in the 25 Army. Again, they lost their first game this past weekend at Yankee Stadium to Notre Dame. Power rankings come out on Tuesday. Georgia, again, has clinched a spot in the SEC championship game. They'll play the winner of the 
this weekend's Texas Texas A&M game. Conference champion gets a first round bye in the 12 team playoff format. So Georgia, if they win that SEC title game, will get a first round bye. Question is, does a third loss knock you out of the 12 team field? Again, that's the debate taking place at the moment because it looks like several SEC teams will have three losses. And the question is, will any of them get in the 12 team playoff? NFL football, both Atlanta and Jaguars had the bye week. Looking at the scores, Tampa Bay beat up on the Giants 30 to 7. Kansas City over Carolina 30 to 27. Dallas a win over Washington. Washington 34-26, Dolphins down the Patriots 34-15, Titans upset the Texans 39 or 32-27, Lions continue to roll, they beat Indianapolis 24-6, Minnesota over Chicago 30-27, Denver over the Raiders 29-19, Green Bay over the Niners 38-10, and last night it was the Eagles beating up on the Rams 37-20. Monday Night Football, a good matchup between the Harbaugh brothers. It's Baltimore and the L.A. Chargers at Los Angeles. Then Thanksgiving, a triple hitter of NFL football. Detroit will host Chicago at 12.30. Dallas hosts the Giants at 4.30. And Miami's at Green Bay for the nightcap at 8.30. Finally in sports, a big upset in women's basketball over the weekend. South Carolina's 4-3 game winning streak was snapped by UCLA at Poly Pavilion. UCLA wins it by a final of 77-62. That's going to do it for latest in local sports.